Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Took a little time and washed out my waxing cloth. Get all these little bits and pieces waxed up. There, now those can sit and dry. And then I'll come back and polish them up.
shears need to be sharpened. But then, they just came home from the restore a week or so ago. I haven't had time to get anything done with them. Now that I've picked them up and used them, I can pretty well tell that they need sharpening pretty badly. They cut, just not well. There we go.
I can see where having a roll of pinstriping tape around would be a big handy thing. I can see where having a roll of striping tape around would be handy. Might have to just spend a few of the hard earned shekels and buy some. Pre made. I suppose I could take a sharp knife and just, you know, razor blade or X Acto knife and go along and slice that along like that. That would get me some striping tape. Okay, ready for red paint. I'm going to see if I can just touch this up a little bit. Don't want to take the plating off if I can help it. Same thing with this. That are shined up pretty good. The knurling, uh, just not getting any real progress on making a polish on that. But then I didn't really expect to. But the the nose piece, yeah, I can see my fingernails in it. Dirty fingers too, just really dirty. Nickel dust. There. Okay, go paint this. Let things dry. I think I'm going to see if I can polish this up a bit too. Having a little chuck on a stem is handy. This is actually a, another motor coupling. Let's me mount a mount this collet. It lets me mount this Jacob's chuck on the end of a motor shaft. When I was making them, this one didn't come out quite as round as I wanted it to. It, it tends to orbit a bit. So it's become more of a handle. I guess you could say this is a pin vise. Signed up. Pretty looking. Take the wheel wax off of there. 
Oh yeah, that looks nice. Okay, off to paint, but first I gotta wash my hands. All three little springs hooked into those holes there. Then I set this over like that and that holds them in place. Then I take these and I put them on like that. The spring goes through the bottom and out the side. Through the bottom And out the side. Now you have to hold everything together while you're doing it, so it takes both hands. Now I set this down over the top. That keeps everything from flipping out. And I spin that like that. And every time that shaft goes up into the chuck, it pushes the jaws out. Pretty slick, huh? And now I'm off to paint the gear and to touch up the frame and any other little pieces that need some adaption. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.